and we always move the furniture around all the time, or we're moving walls, or I rarely am designing the set, but Raiden was like, I don't want to move any furniture. Uh, I don't want to move any walls. Um, so, uh, well, and it was, and I think just in the context of the play, uh, it was important to us to find an environment for everything to take place in, but that was flexible enough for us to be able to create clear locations when we move from place to place. Um, so, sort of the overall scope of the set is essentially Tom and Merrill's apartment, and we've designed it as sort of a converted warehouse loft apartment. There's a, a series of three sort of like overhead supporting beams. And one of the things that we do uh, with those beams to help define the space is that the two things that we are going to be moving is we have two uh, movable door units that are essentially frames. And we're going to reconfigure where the doors land to sort of delineate our wall space and really carve out small space. So when we're in Tom and Merrill's, the front entryway is sort of all the way up center, and then there's a hallway bedroom access that's kind of down right. And then when we go into uh, the second scene is in the hallway outside of Jane's apartment. We're going to bring them really far downstage, really close, almost sort of if you think about the final scene of Betrayal, if you guys remember that. Very small, tight space. And then use uh, a combination of these door locations and really, really tight lighting to really sort of change the world and change the environment that we're in in a really kind of direct focus. Um, and part of that is we're not expecting that everything else is gonna disappear. Something that's really important to me is I think that all of these characters are feeling sort of a pressure of their lives happening all the time. And I think that having you know, the full environment a little bit present during you know, all the different scenes I think is kind of an important thing, an important story for us to tell.